Hillary Clinton suffered a surprising loss in the Indiana primary, and now she faces more troubling news. We have a Fox News exclusive. The man who says he exposed her use of a private email account for government business is talking. Chief Intelligence Correspondent Catherine Herridge tonight with a jailhouse interview and what it could mean for the ongoing FBI investigation of Clinton. The Romanian hacker accused of breaching the personal email accounts of Washington's elite, including former Secretary of State Colin Powell and a member of the Bush family, told Fox News in an exclusive jailhouse telephone interview that he also compromised Hillary Clinton's personal server. 44-year-old Marcel Lahel Lazar, who goes by the moniker Guccifer, claimed it happened in early 2013. You accessed a lot of accounts, Marcel. Yeah. Is the Clinton server easy or hard? No, for me, what is it? What is it? For me, for everybody. Lazar was extradited to the U.S. from Romania last month to face trial in Alexandria, Virginia, for cyber crimes. One of his alleged victims is longtime Clinton aide Sidney Blumenthal. After researching his target, Lazar told Fox he accessed the account by correctly guessing Blumenthal's security question. Then he sent content from the account to the media and for the first time publicly exposed the Clinton email address. This is a classic old school attack and it's not an attack that works against well defended systems. Once inside Blumenthal's AOL account, Lazar said he gathered information about the Clinton server's IP address, a unique numeric code like a phone number or home address. How many times did you access the Clinton server, Marcel? I say like twice. For me, it was not like the Hillary Clinton server. It was like an email server she and others were using with political boring stuff. A second cybersecurity expert said Lazar's story is plausible and of interest to FBI investigators. If a little Romanian country boy can get into this, then it means that this thing could have been gotten into by anybody. And in the process of identifying the server's vulnerabilities, Lazar said he came across evidence that others were there. There were so others up to 10, like uh, IPs from other parts of the world. You see the numbers only, but you can tell by the numbers uh, the region of the world. While Lazar's claims cannot be independently verified, three computer security specialists told Fox the Clinton server now in FBI hands may have an electronic trail that would confirm or disprove his claims. Unfortunately, in this community, a lot of people make up stories, and it's hard to know what's really true until you get into the forensics information and get hard facts. This week, Mrs. Clinton was asked about security. No. Any indication that your private server was hacked by foreign hackers? No, not at all. In March, the New York Times reported the Clinton server security log showed no evidence of a breach, but cyber experts warned good hackers can cover their tracks. There was no immediate response from the Clinton campaign tonight, and the FBI offered no on-the-record statement.